More storybook brawl. Let's see. We have our choice between Horde Dragon, Pied Piper, and a Fallen Angel. Hmm. I think I'm going to go with Fallen Angel. I've really enjoyed playing this character lately. Okay, here we are in round one. I'm just going to grab the first evil character I see. Um, I'm tempted to lock to try to get this for glory, but that's kind of gambling, and I really just want to find good and evil characters. Um, Long-term goals, I'd want to find, like, uh, shoulder fairies and kind of like a treant build. I've really liked uh, Fallen Angel with treants, specifically. So that's something to look forward to overall. Um, she can also do good stuff with like monsters. All right, we tie here, which is good because I could have been a loss if they'd attacked first. Ooh, okay. So we have the Forbidden Fruit. No good or evil units here. So this might be. Hmm. I think the best thing I can do right now is just take this and then grab two units. It is thoroughly unexciting. But I think just adding to the board in the early game is super important. And I kind of want this uh, dragon to go first. Alright, we're up against Jack's Giant. Ooh, that's a 1-7. I think we get there, though. Yeah, the, the high t power on our Tiny and Minotaur helped us get through that. Ah. <sighs> See, I need to be picking up good and evil units. Maybe I could do... Oh, this, this, this Cinderella makes me want to grab Cinderella and then double Genie's Wish. And I think I will. Okay, so then how can I make sure we win this so I can get the free unit from for Glory? I think I'm going to trade in Tiny for Humpty Dumpty. Just, Humpty is huge. I want to say, I saw a stat the other day where Humpty just has like the highest winning percentage of the two drops. So I think we're just gonna grab him. And then hopefully we can win this, get this for glory and be on our way. Uh, we definitely need to start prioritizing finding good and evil units. Oh, oh yeah. This is, this is brutal. I feel pretty bad for our uh, lion friend here. Ooh, yeah, that's great. All right. So we get the princess. I really need to find ways to boost her attack and her power. Wait, same thing. Attack and toughness. Huh. So I think I want to grab... Hmm. I could be like a sleigh comp, kind of. Take this. Then I definitely want to roll for Cinderella. Ooh, double mummy. Also double dragon. But the mummy is good with the Minotaur. What have I sold? Oh, wait, I can sell Humpty for the dragon. Because if Humpty dies, then I'm in a rough spot. Then I think I'm going to lock. That way I can pick up the dragon double and pick up the mummy double. We're up against Beauty, who hasn't lost yet. So that's a little scary. Okay, their team seems fairly weak. I don't want to jinx it, though. It's a lot of range. Okay, that was very good for us. Now I think we've just got it. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to grab Mummy. And do I want to grab the dragon? Thing is, I don't really care about tripling the dragon at all. I think I'd rather find another spell so I can Cinderella. Yeah, that's pretty good. And to give my characters plus one health seems nice. Fairy tale also seems nice. But I think there's a lot of upside here in making my Vainpire and Brave Princess harder to kill. It also means that well, like these mummies will live through like one ones, like black cats hitting them, which I think is beneficial because they'll get more kills that way. So let's do Fountain of Youth. And the dragon should probably be somewhere not here, but it is what it is. 
Um, I guess we'll roll. Nothing I'm super interested in here. Up against the fates. Oof, okay. Another slay. So we're one slay away from the trophy here. No slays for a vampire. These mummies are doing a lot of work for us. And we have the evil buff from Fallen Angel. So now I really want to replace this and this with good units. I will take another Vainpire. Hmm. So there's double Shadow Assassin. I guess this is kind of a moment of truth. Do I want to lean into Slay? And I can take double Shadow Assassin. They're pretty big, 5-2 range. Interesting. I can't buy them both this turn though. I'm about to hit level 4. There's also a Queen of Hearts, which like... I have a lot of evil characters, so she could grow... pretty quickly. And like, the cool thing about Fallen Angel is plus 2 attack on all of your creatures is really pretty good. Having both is optimal, but... If it's better for us to be in an evil comp, then it is, you know? So I'm actually pretty torn here. I don't know which way to go. We could also grab Sleeping Princess. I think I'm going to grab a Shadow Assassin. And... Ooh, do I have enough time? Yeah. Alright, so this lowers the power of, it, of all my evil stuff for now, which is unfortunate. But I think it sets us up to go into a pretty decent slay situation in the mid game. Okay. Uh, we might lose this one. Although we did get another slay there. Okay. I'm feeling actually pretty good. We do, we do win this one. We got three slays that turn, I think. So these uh, Shadow Assassins are pretty buffed. And we get a new treasure. Okay, Ancient Sarcophagus kind of changes things. I think we need to go evil now. This treasure is absurd. By itself, it'll take us into the mid to late game. I, we're already in the mid game, so into the late game. Uh, basically by itself, it's just really, really good. Um, I like Medusa. We could eat this for gold. It feels really weird to do that to my 12-7. And we could like try to go good, right? Like we could grab this good support and buff our Brave Princess. But Brave Princess lost Slay whenever she uh, upgrades, I think. I really do not know what to do here. Cause like the more evil creatures we have, the better this is. And I think, so we'll have pings from this, we'll have pings from these and we'll have ranged attacks. So yeah, I think I'm gonna eat the princess as much as it feels weird to me. Ooh, triple the mummy. Uh, maybe that was wrong. Maybe that was wrong. That might have been wrong. Rage units, half plus three, plus three. Yeah, I I tried to act fast there. I should have locked or waited or something. That was good, though. So they have some big, happy little trees. We have Medusa, though. Oh, yeah. Okay. So we need evil units. I can't believe I wasted all that gold last time. So I'm gonna take this. We're gonna buff the mummy. More Medusa is good for us. I wanna find better slay units or to triple this. All right, so we're not getting any of that. We're full evil though. Um, we're going to try to ride on the coattails of Sarcophagus and this mummy dealing, I guess, 18 damage now whenever it dies. Like, that's huge. And then the, we have some pretty big uh, back-end attackers, so I'm, I'm feeling good about where we're at. Um, nothing has seemed too scary. Uh, whoever had the double happy little tree, they were pretty scary because those trees were huge. Um, but I love Medusa, and I love being able to, like... Just push, push forward with these two, like having double Medusa. 
I think it's very strong. So um, I think this is more or less optimal for where we're at right now. Um, moving forward, I want to find better Slay units. I want a triple Medusa, Vampire, or Shadow Assassin. Um, I think this Mummy could be really good long game plan. Like, if we could find just a way to buff it up some more, like keep casting Worm Roots on it. So yeah, we're definitely in a transitionary spot, but ooh, they killed both our Medusas. Yikes. So we don't even get a Slay there. So we might be in trouble this time around. Yeah, I wish that had hit the mummy, but it's alright. Actually, we do win this. Because our creatures are just huge and Ancient Sarcophagus is stupid. Alright. <clears throat> so yeah, both our Medusas died there and we still won pretty easily. Uh, part of me just wants to grab like a level 4 here and eat it with the end. Is that greedy? I mean, it is greedy, right? But mm. Well, how'd that happen? I mean, I think that, that puts us in a great position. Now we're ahead a little bit, and we're over 42 health. Okay, that's a good slate creature. Do I lock for Aeon? There's shoulder fairies. We just don't, like I said, we didn't lean into good very much. So shoulder fairy is probably not going to make it in. I don't mind grabbing Aeon, though. None of these are... Well, maybe I do mind grabbing Aeon. Like, I obviously want to find an Odin King when we hit level 6, because I'm a pretty monster-based comp. So maybe I just roll to try to find triples like that, and then I will definitely lock for the uh, triple vampire. Okay, up against Jack's Giant again. Okay, so they also have Medusa, and a pretty big one at that. Okay, our mummy's gonna get like a three for one, because it'll kill whatever attacks it next, and then it'll kill something else when it dies. Okay, so we kill a sheep, and another sheep. Not optimal. Oh, we got Medusa, that's good. And we Medusa to their big backline creature. <laughs> oh, yeah. So we just cleaned up there. Okay, so we're gonna triple the vampire. Um, Bad Moon is interesting, though we don't really have many Slay creatures anymore. Hmm. I kind of like Treasure Map. We could get a really good treasure if any of these triple, so let's do that. And we'll buff the mummy. There's nothing here I will love. Like, Broccoli is fine. Guess I should pick something though. Alright, well I guess we're gonna run Princess White for one round. Just didn't find anything good. And that's alright. Like we're pretty far ahead. Uh, this poor Miri has been beaten up a lot. Although the thing with Miri is like Miri can take a beating in the first half of the game, but if they just like hit a chain of triples, then their board can go from mediocre to like absurd very quickly. So they're low on the tone pole right now, but they could come back. So we need to watch out for that. All right, let's see if the Miri is making a comeback or just biting the dust. All right, well, four, four uh, upgrades is pretty good. And they have uh, Sky Castle and Noble Steed. So they're on their way. Yeah, we, I think we lose this one. And they actually got their Lancelot buff. Alright. That's our first loss, I think. Yeah, they are quite strong. They are making the comeback. Boom. Take the gold. And take another of these. I guess I'll use that to replace the back line Medusa. And we're fighting against the... Ghost. Let me grab this spinning gold. So next turn we'll be able to go into level 6 with 12 gold plus 3 gold if we win plus these two. Although I probably just want to hold on to Medusa. Alright. I've lost to ghosts before so like it could happen but I'm 
hoping that's not the case. And it doesn't look like they're in a position to beat us. Like they have a, a chicken. <laughs> and that's just what happens whenever you concede early, I suppose. All right, mummy down. And the mummy's gonna deal 20 damage. Okay, there's a slay for us. All right, this is really good. We're gonna get a lot of gold on our level six turn. And I quite like three big pigs. That's really good with uh, ancient sarcophagus. So we can put that here, I guess. Roll. Hmm. And I'm not finding anything great, to be honest. Fighting Merlin. I guess I'll grab a poison apple just to make sure we can get a slay. Yeah, nothing good here. I guess let's keep rolling. We, we can sell the princess. Huh. Yeah, that's unfortunate. We had a lot of gold this turn. I was hoping that we could find a triple. We just have not been able to triple these shadow assassins or these medusas. And we didn't find another southern siren either. But we'll have time. Unless we just get like destroyed the next couple of turns. We should have time to find them. And we have this treasure map to make sure that goes like way over the top. I'm feeling pretty confident. I hope someone can kill Miri because they are probably the scariest person in this lobby. Though we haven't seen the fate in a while and they're obviously doing well. So I'm kind of scared of the fates and of Miri. This is about the part of the game where Ancient Sarcophagus stops being like absurd and starts just being like, okay. And they have some really good trophies. Holy mess. Okay, that was good for us. So we get their Vampire, which immediately dies. Um, we might be able to get out of this. It's going to be very close, though. We need to snipe the Cupid. And we did not. Alright, yeah, we're not getting out of this at this point. Wow, what a setup. Double Spear of Achilles. Uh, yeah, we'll take a Dorm again. <laughs> well, actually, no, we don't. Because we need it to be evil, right? I guess we don't need it to be. We can run non-evil things. What well, if we just didn't run this Medusa anymore? And ran that there, and then we... Gave the mummy plus four attack, so it deals 28 damage when it dies. Oh, there's Baba Yaga. So I can sell these Medusas to get the Baba Yaga in. Is Baba Yaga better than... Three big pigs? Is the mummy even worth it at this point? I feel, I feel like it is, but maybe it's not dealing enough damage. I think we do want the Baba Yaga. Maybe something like this. Although, yeah. And then three big pigs can take the place. Ugh. I hate to say it, but maybe it is the mummy, but the mummy deals so much damage. It's gonna deal like 50 damage whenever it goes on. Plus the ancient sarcophagus. So I think we're gonna do this. Ah, uh, that might not be right. I really wish we could have tripled any of these Shadow Assassins at any point. Ah, oh, Medusa Arjormungand. That was brutal. And they have our Oni King. Actually, I think we get out of this, but that opening was devastating. <laughs> I see why they're ahead, though. They have a very good team. We need to, you know... Come together. We have so many things we need to triple. I don't think I can grab these double doom breaths. I think I just need to start rolling. Well, already tripled the mummy. I guess another Dormagand. Um, we're up against Miri, which is unfortunate. Okay, finally, I think we're out of the vampire phase. Let's just triple this. We'll get ourselves a level five trophy. Now, Tree of Life, that's interesting. That seems good with these Dormagans. Could also grab Ambrosia on Baba Yaga or Three Big Pigs. Or honestly, a Southern Siren. I 
think Tree of Life is the way I want to go, though. I think that just makes us so much stronger. And then we have the Jormungand, supported by the Baba Yaga. We're in a pickle, because princes and princesses are very strong. They made me kind of wish I hadn't sold the uh, Medusas. We'll have to see how this goes, though. I'm not feeling very secure. Alrighty. Ooh. Yeah, they're strong. <laughs> wow. They might just win this thing. They ended up getting some busted trophies. Holy mess. And like, our little ancient sarcophagus is not doing a lot versus them. We might just die here. This might be over 19 damage. Jesus Christ! 24 damage? Oh my gosh! <laughs> uh, I mean, that's what I was saying earlier, right? Miri can make some insane comebacks. They are the comeback king of the hero pool. Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, hey, third place, I thought we were on track for, like, a, a perfect run for the most of that game. We just didn't lose until halfway through. But, uh, this is pretty good. I, I think I liked where we were going. The mummy was excellent in the mid-game. Um, we just kind of fell short at the end. We didn't find the triple siren. We didn't find the triple, um, shadow assassin until well past level six. So I feel like if we'd gotten either of those at any point in the earlier to mid-game, then... We would have been okay. So it's a little bit of bad luck on our part and a little bit of a high roll on the Miri part, but hey, that's what this game is. It was a fun run. Third place is nothing to scoff at. I had a lot of fun. GG's. See you guys next time.